Millions of years ago, the Mediterranean Sea experienced a period of drying up known as the Mycenaean Salinity Crisis. This event came to an end with a massive flood, possibly the largest in the planet's history, around 5.3 million years ago. The flood, known as the Zanklian Flood, refilled the entire sea in as little as two years, reaching all the way to the eastern Mediterranean. The Strait of Gibraltar, which is only about 8 miles wide, connects the Mediterranean Sea to the Atlantic Ocean. It is possible to see from Spain to Morocco on a clear day. The Mediterranean Sea has been isolated before, and it seems like it could happen again. About 6 million years ago, the Mediterranean was cut off, possibly due to an ice age or tectonic processes. This led to the Mycenaean salinity crisis, during which the sea evaporated over a period of about 1,000 years, turning into a dry basin below sea level. Evidence shows that rivers like the Nile and the Rhone once reached the bed of the Mediterranean, carving out great canyons. Cores under the Mediterranean Sea revealed minerals such as gypsum and rock salt, indicating the sea had dried up. The Mycenaean salinity crisis may have inspired myths, such as the legend of Hercules cutting a path through the pillars of Hercules to join the Mediterranean to the Atlantic Ocean. The crisis came to an end about 5.3 million years ago with the Zanklian Flood, which refilled the Mediterranean in no more than two years. The flood was so strong that it left preserved underwater erosion features, such as a massive deposit of sediment behind an ancient volcano. The flood may have reached the eastern Mediterranean near Sicily, as evidenced by a deposit of sediment reaching up to 800 meters thick. Scientists believe that if the Strait of Gibraltar closes, the Mediterranean could run dry in about 1,000 years. Over a longer time frame, the Mediterranean may disappear forever as the African plate moves farther to the north and east. 